Registered Phenomena Code, 029. Object Class, Omega Red. Hazard Types, Aggression, Animated, Ballistic. Containment Protocols, RPC-029 is currently uncontainable. In the event of an RPC-029 encounter, MST Alpha 3 scavengers are to report to the location, amnesticize any survivors, and bring any wounded individuals to a local medical center. This document and any other information pertaining to RPC-029 are not to be distributed or spoken aloud within forested areas of North America. Description, RPC-029 is a humanoid entity approximately 1.8 meters in height, clothed in an assortment of blue cloth and rags. RPC-029 carries a beaten, early model SKS. RPC-029 will manifest when a person or persons makes any kind of mention of the anomaly, whether direct or indirect. RPC-029 has only been documented appearing in specific locations, particularly within heavily forested areas of the United States, Mexico, and Canada, and between the hours of 11 p.m. and 4 a.m. local time. Manifestations usually occur when a group of individuals has gone camping, customarily exchanging unsettling stories pertaining to folklore, of which RPC-029 is occasionally the subject. RPC-029 will appear at least 30 meters from the subjects, taking cover behind a tree, rock or other obstruction. The anomaly is rarely ever noticed by the subjects as RPC-029 is not very visible at night. RPC-029 will aim its SKS at the individuals, and after approximately 15 minutes, will attempt to kill all individuals within the group. Once all subjects have either been terminated or escaped, RPC-029 will de-manifest. Attempts to contain RPC-029 at any point in this process have been unsuccessful, always resulting in RPC-029 de-manifesting, at which point it will slowly become transparent until it is completely invisible and cannot be physically detected. Addendum.1, over time. The authority has had to intervene in numerous cases of information about RPC-029 being spread through pop culture and over the internet. The following are several noteworthy cases. Case 056, a conversation relating to RPC-029, held over the social media and image board known as 4chan on the slash x slash board which is dedicated to topics relating to the paranormal. Response, the authority contacted staff of 4chan and prompted a takedown of the thread. The authority was unable to determine the identity of the original poster of the thread, nor any other members. 4chan thread. Case 067, a wealthy entrepreneur attempted to build a theme park ride based off of RPC-029. The authority became aware of the endeavor through an anonymous report believed to be filed by arrival of the entrepreneur, also familiar with the anomalous. Response, MST Alpha 3 reported to the location and prevented any further construction. Only the first half of the ride was completed. The ride was found to contain several highly dangerous sections, such as a segment of the ride where a hatchet drops from the ceiling directly onto any riders. Note. For unknown reasons, MST Alpha 3 agreed to let the businessman go free. It is believed that the man used a powerful mimetic effect in order to achieve this. The man's exact identity is currently unknown, though he shares several ties with Group of Interest Amazing. Co. Class 164, the transcribed log to Event 029A, an atypical RPC 029 appearance. It was recorded using the smartphone of one of the group members, named Jeremy. Response, MST Alpha 3 reported to the location, applied amnestics to all surviving subjects and confiscated any material, including the smartphone which was found at the location. Footage recorded at 11 p.m. EST, local time. The first half of the footage, depicting the group telling unsettling stories to each other, unrelated to RPC-029, has been omitted. Begin log. A group of four people, aged 16 to 19, surround a small fire. Davis, all right, I have a story I don't think any of you have heard before. I heard about this one from school back in Britain. It's a pretty good one. Sean, I hope you're not hyping this up for nothing. Davis, nah, this one's great. 
Jeremy, let's hear it then. Davis, as the story goes, there is an old, decrepit man, six feet tall, wearing a bunch of blue rags that he stitched together. He spends his time walking through forests, searching for people on camping trips, like us. Jeremy, oh, like us. Very scary Davis. Ben, just let him tell the fucking story. Jeremy, fine. Davis, okay so, he spends his time searching through forests, looking for people camping because. Ben, wait, did you say he wore blue clothes? Davis, yeah, but the color isn't important. Ben, no, I think I see something. Something blue. Look over there. Ben points into the forest. Jeremy, dude, I see it too. Davis is quivering. Jeremy, care to explain yourself, Davis? You put up some blue rags in the forest, didn't you? Davis, I I didn't. Jeremy, sure. RPC029 steps out from behind a large oak tree and slowly approaches the campfire. Sean, what the fuck? Sean runs away from the campfire and into the forest. The rest of the group remains in place, petrified. RPC029 stops approaching them once 10 meters from the group. A loud, deep buzzing noise can be heard emanating from the anomaly. The footage ends abruptly. End log. Through extended analysis, the authority has been able to uncover a heavily distorted audio recording, changing chaotically between low and high pitches. The message was spoken in English, though with a Russian accent. A transcription of this message follows. They did this. They did this to me. Decades of running through the twisted hallways of my broken mind. Decades of confusion, pain and isolation. The last thing I remember. A Nazi bomber flew overhead. We had no warning. I looked up and saw a small item drop out. Too small to be a bomb. Clearly not a chemical weapon. What was IT? IT did this to me. They did this to me. What was IT? What was IT? What was IT? Further research into RPC-029 and the meaning of this message is ongoing.